The local pros got busy once more when the ITTSI Philippine Golf Tour resumed its circuit with the staging of the Riviera Classic last May 17, 21 in Cavite. Around 80 shop makers trooped to the Riviera Golf Club to see action in the 54-hole tournament, which served as the fourth leg of the circuit. Marvin Dumandan, who ruled the Sherwood Hills Classic, came into the tournament looking for a second straight win. But in the end, it was all about Juvik Pagunsan returning to his old fiery form and running away with the title. He carded a 3 under par 69 for a 208 total after 54 holes at the couple's course to post a 6 shot win over veterans Dani Zarate and Richard Sinfuego. Less than a week later, the country's par busters headed north of Metro Manila for the ICTSI Forest Hills Championship held from May 24 to 28 in Antipolo Rizal. This time, it was Mars Pukai's time to shine. He carded a final round 2 under par 70 to post a two-shot win over Elmer Salvador. Pukai pulled a 7 under 209 and took home the top purse worth 200,000 pesos, ending a long title drought on the local circuit. Next stop for the local pros was the ICTSI Mount Malaraya Championship, staged at the Mount Malaraya Golf and Country Club in Lipa City, Batangas. Chawalit Plapol immediately made his presence felt, charging home with four birdies for a 7 under 65 and a one shot lead with one round gone before pulling off the win with a final round 4 under par 68 to seal an 8-shot victory in the $50,000 event. Pagunsan, who claimed the previous tour event, the Mercedes-Benz Masters in Thailand, finished second after shooting a 67. His compatriots, Tony Lascuña and Ferdi Abunzo, finished one stroke further back in joint third after carding rounds of 68 and 72 respectively. When we come back, we take a look at the three exciting days of the ICTSI Orchard Golf Championship. I'm TJ Manotto. This 54-hole tournament serving as the seventh leg of the circuit organized by Filipinas Golf Tournaments Incorporated is sponsored by ICTSI. Let's pick up the action on hole number five. Here's a second shot of Mars Pukai off the fringe on hole number five, a par three. Just about 10 feet short. Not going to be easy to save par in that one. Here's Ernie Relion as he goes for his birdie putt on hole number five. And that one's quite short on the uphill climb. Mars Pukai to save par. And he gets that one to go. And rounding out the flight is Juvik Pagunsan going for his birdie putt. And he gets that one to drop. We move on now to hole number 18 with Marvin Dumandan taking his third shot just off the fringe. Marvin Dumandan was the champion of the Sherwood Hills Classic last March. And here's Danny Zarate going for his birdie putt on hole number 18. Looks like he got a good read on that one but just not enough power and he's going to fall short a bit.
Here's Rolando Marabe for his second shot on hole number five's par three. Clearly missing the green. Trying to save par here. And he's got a, quite a distance to go to try and save that par. Here's Kevin Tayao in the same hole, but this time finding himself in the bunker. Not going to be an easy shot as this is a very deep bunker. Got to go up and down. Got some good line, just a little strong, but I'm look, looking like he's going to be happy with that one to try to save his par. Here's Moon Seek Choi for his birdie putt on hole number five. And just short there, as he's got about a, a foot to go to tap that in for par. Moving on over to back to hole number 18, this time you got the flight of Jonard Rates. And he gets the chip up and down. And here's Elmer Saban for his third shot on the par 5 18th hole, which sometimes has some difficult pin placements since it's a deep green. He hits the pin. Lucky for him because that shot was a little too strong and he could have missed the green altogether. Here's John Ardrates for his par putt on the 18th par 5. And he gets that one to go as he's going to close out his first day. Even though we're seeing some uh, players in the 18th hole, this is only the first day of the three-day event. Yalmar Saban trying to get a birdie out of this one. He gets that one to go. <laughs> Trying to save himself from the bunker here is Richard Hosson. His second shot on the par three hole number five. Not an easy one as he landed that on the fringe. Could not get the roll. He's going to have to make do with a long putt for birdie. Or for par at least. And speaking of birdie here is Koki Nao going for his birdie on hole number five. Got the read just a little short as it went a little to the right past the hole. Richard Hossel now for his par putt. Oh, in and out. He's gonna have to contend with that for bogey. Here's one of the few amateurs we have on the circuit, Justin Dimhap. For his third shot on the par 5 hole number 18. Not an easy one. He's got to work with coming out of the rough. But a beautiful shot nonetheless. Here's Ruben Sasutil for his third shot on the par 5 18th. Easy chip up and down is a beautiful one. Here's reigning Philippine Open champion Elmer Salvador for his third shot just off the fringe. Opting not to putt this one. Let's see how he chips this one. Not a good bounce on the first contact with the green. So he's got a, quite a ways to go to contend for that putt. Justin Lim Hop trying to round out his birdie. Pull that to the left. Completing the flight is Ruben Sasutil for his birdie putt on the par 5. And he gets that one to drop. Shifting back over to the hole number 5 par 3, Jerome Delariarte trying to save himself from the bunker on his second shot. Up and down it goes. Not an easy one to control the spin from a bunker that deep, but he got a good one there and got it just a few inches from the hole. 
together in this flight is Artemio Murakami. He's going for birdie. Very short there as he read the break, but not enough power. He taps that in for his par for the Order of Merit leader, Artemio Murakami. Here's Peter Villaber for his third shot on the hole number 18, par 5. Oh, great bite there on the green on the second bounce, and it's stuck right there just a few feet from a birdie putt. Rico De Pilo for his third shot. And he's got quite a ways for his birdie putt. Ramil Bicera for his third shot on the par five. And here's Becerra walking up to that birdie putt. Probably about a four or five foot putt to go for this one. And he gets that one to drop. Here's Peter Villaber trying to finish out this nice hole after the beautiful chip that got that ball to bite on command. And he taps that birdie home. Jumping back over to hole number five, par three, here's Rufino Bayron for his second shot. Clearly missing the green likewise. They can do with a lot of rough there. And that's what you get when you're in the rough. Not too much control on the spin of the ball. Here's Christopher De Los Santos for his second shot also off the rough. Nice chip and run there. And he sticks that in within a few feet left for his attempt to save par. Rufino Bayron. Long ways to go to save par here in the number five hole. But he gets the read just right and he's happy about that to save his par. Let's take a look now at the leaderboard after the first day leading the pack is Tony Lascunia, but not by far as he's only one shot ahead of Cassius Casas. Also trying to improve his score in the next few days is reigning Philippine Open champion Elmer Salvador. That wraps up the action for the first day of the ICTSI Orchard Golf Championship. Stick around folks as when we come back we take a look at day two.